Have you ever wondered what to do if your donkey shows zero interest in you or becoming a gentled donkey? Well, here we're working with number 2683, the 17-year-old with Paul, who's hanging out in the rain in the barn while 2683 is eating oats in front of him. So if your donkey shows nervousness around you, one thing we want to do is just help them get comfortable being around us. That's why we're working with this. We can touch 2683. We've gotten lots of really awesome name ideas, so we're going to have names for both of those two here real soon. Now, in this process, we start off just hanging out with them, and then later on, we're going to ask more. You saw there where Paul turned the page, and 2683 just hightailed it right out of there. Just a little bit of movement, and he becomes really nervous. What we're looking for is for them to become conflicted. A conflicted donkey is a very good thing because it's mean. it means that you're getting close to them being interested in hanging out and being around you. You can see him right now. He's looking over at Paul. He's conflicted. He wants to be over there eating the oats, but he's nervous. Look who is brave enough to lay down while we're in the pen. Oh my gosh. That white donkey, he has been so nervous, but he's getting calm. We're doing lots of time of just sitting with them. A little bit of petting, but a lot more just sitting with them and helping him get confidence. It's so cool to see him laying there. Look at how brave this guy is getting. I just love it. And through the fence. And even this brown one is coming up. The 17 year old. He's curious, but he's not curious enough to take the oats from my hand. Again, this is a mixture of oats and sweet feed and alfalfa pellets because they're underweight. But look at how curious the 17 year old is. He's not coming to get it, but he's really thinking about it. Slow and steady, I'm gonna go in there next. <laughs> So I've been sitting in here with the 17 year old for oh about 20 minutes now and he's very curious and he's coming up to me. I had this little bin on my lap and I was holding oats in my hand but wanting him to be successful I decided to go ahead and put it on the ground and hope that then he'll come up closer or at least start to eat it because he's gotten this close but he he gets pretty nervous pretty quick. So I'm just setting them up to be successful and then I'm just going to keep putting a little bit of oats in there and letting them eat next to me. Here he comes. I just put a little bit more oats in there and it's right down next to my feet. We'll see if he can be brave enough to come up right next to me. See how he's conflicted. But he's getting brave. Maybe in a little bit here, I'll be able to hold it on my lap and have him come and eat it off my lap in that bin or from my hand. Gentling donkeys like this is going to be a progression. First, we want them to be comfortable coming to eat next to us. And we want them to be comfortable when we do small amounts of movement near them while they're eating. We're going to know that they're comfortable because when we do a little bit of movement, they don't just go away just like they're. Keep watching so you can see the update with number 2732, the 22-year-old who has been so very, very nervous. After they're calm and confident coming to eat next to us, then we can start asking more, more movement or having it on our lap or maybe touching them while they're doing it. Uh, later on, uh, I haven't, it's not in this video, but later on you'll see where my husband was, he tied a rope to that bin and as this guy pulled it away to eat, then my husband would pull it back. So just more things to make them a little bit nervous, but not too nervous. We want to keep their interest the whole time that we're doing this. So we're going to keep asking for more as we're doing this, and that'll allow them to feel confident that we're not going to eat them. Now we've been doing this for a couple weeks, and it is paying off. We have hours of sitting with them and just hanging out, and keep watching for more videos. All right, guys, for the last couple weeks, we've not recorded much with with this guy here, the 22 year old. But we've been working on just getting them comfortable eating from our hand and approaching them. Most of the focus has been on the left side. Uh, we've started to introduce the right side. It's okay to 
focus on one side, getting that side good. Remember, he was really, really nervous. And now Dan's starting to introduce the halter. He's had it over his uh, head a little bit. He's just nervous, so Dan's walking away, giving him some space. He's also started to express a lot more curiosity, like coming towards us. Here he comes. See, he's, Party time. he's liking this attention, but he's a little conflicted, too. Oh, no. Guys, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So, the old man here, 22 years old. We've been working a lot over the last couple of weeks of just getting him used to having people around him and eating from our hand. And now you can see how far he's coming. Dan's going to try to pay him for that before he. There, nice, nice. Okay, he's eating with this on his neck. That's huge. That is huge. The reason that's huge is because when they're really, really nervous, they won't eat. Oh, too much action. Oh, no. Okay. So now he's walking away. So you guys might be working with your donkeys and they need a lot of time to walk away. That's okay. We're not going to do anything about that. He will come back and approach us as soon as he's ready. Sometimes it could take a long time. With Valhalla, it would take a long time. She would actually go put her head in the corner really, really low, saying, leave me alone. So we're going to record some from today's, guys. Look at, now he's already getting curious to come back yep. over to Dan. So while he's over there thinking on whether or not he wants to come back to a person, I am over here working with a 17-year-old. And I'm also working with Abby. And I think today we're going to lead her outside of the pen. <laughs> For the first time, she's working on target training. She's accepting the halter and being led around a little bit. You'll want to watch that video. Heck yeah. Rodeo potential. <laughs> so he's still taking his break over here, and we're just going to wait for him to come back over to us. Look at there. He's starting to show curiosity again. Do you see him tilt his head just a tad? Yep. All right. I'm going to turn it off while he's still thinking, guys, and keep, stay tuned. We're going to have lots of cool stuff today on uh, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button. We sure appreciate that a ton.